Hey, what's going on? It's your boy TPNet. Welcome back to another video. I got a bone to pick with y'all, man. Um, not really, though. Uh, new podcast, our Real Talk, Pill Talk podcast, episode 49 just dropped. Make sure y'all go check out my web series, Buried Web Series. Links will be at the, the end of this video and in the description. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Let's get into this. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Turn your notifications on, everything's free. We're doing the Pop the Balloon Challenge. Grown and sexy vibes, you feel me? Uh, we're going to mute the beginning of this because they got, they got an instrumental going. And I ain't trying to get demonetized. Anybody got time for that? No pun. All right, Bob, we got Iffy right here. Feeling Iffy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I like the um the protective style. You feel me? That's what's up. We got the turtleneck thingy going on. Okay, Lily. Lily in the all, all black. All right, like the chain. Heavy on the makeup, though. But it's all good. Got that that uh what's they call that chain? A bone bone fish? Yeah, she got the bone fish on. I had that for a little bit. Just keep snapping. Kind, keen. Whatever one it is. Okay, okay, okay. I see you got the denim winnem on. Looking good. Who is it right here? Maya. No Angelo. Okay, a little spinning. Okay. You know I'm saying? I'll let you hold the do rag. Then we got Shivani. Shivani, Shivani said, I'm about to play with this hair. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna recognize, put some respect on this. And then we got Michaela. Michaela said, hold my boob, hold my belly, hold my hip. It's not jelly. Okay, Michaela, we see you. Then we got Diamond in here. She got a Coogee hat on. 12 nose piercings. Then we got Alexis. Alexis came in here with a bomb on. Baby hair's glistening. Titties about to pop out. Damn, how you got a bomb on with titties? You ain't playing. Hold on, man. She got the bomb on with the bitties out? How you put that together? Let me get it. My bad. I'm this joint already. Let me see the bomber with the bitty combo. Bow. Glitter on that shimmer and shit. Kenny, give you a hug. Give you a hug. and be glittered up like a man. It's kind of ours. And I'm glistening. Everybody take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, uh. It's kind of loud. All right, let's see if we can get back to the volume, volume. Let's get into it. Then did, did everybody intro. Ah, let's go. Come on, go ahead. Stop playing. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the finest game show. My and dog said, I'm make sure one thing. I'm going to put some chapstick on. I'm, I'm going to be moisturized. Be glistening, boy. You glistening. Look like a. Glazed chocolate donut. And you got that little ass dog chain on your neck. You got that little bike chain on your neck. I see what you did there. Got that white blaze on. That's that homecoming rental. <laughs> this shit. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out. All right. <laughs> and today we present you with the pop the balloon or find love. So as you see, we see we have our single, beautiful woman. Are y'all ready to find love? Woo! Yes, 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 yes. We love it, we love it. As you see, we have our beautiful single ladies here. Man, get this shit started, man. You can tell us the first episode. Well, you just said that, man. Get this, get this thing cranking up, man. Here, and soon we'll be presenting you with our single men who are also ready. He think he the main character. You just, you just the host, bitch. You do, you do the host. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody worry about you, man. Get this thing rolling. To find love. And so just to give you an instruction on what the game oh, is all about. Shit. So ladies, I You should have gave these instructions off screen. This should have been already. This it, it shit got instructions in the email. I should have got CC, instructions, attachments, all that. You ain't breaking this down in person. I want to let you know, once the men are walking down, they come on the stage to present, present themselves to find love. Whatever you see about them, if you, see, if you see something you do not like, if you feel something you do not like, if you smell something you do not like, you hear something you do not like, feel free to pop your balloon. But if you love everything about them, keep your balloon. You got the instructions, ladies? Yes. All right, all right, all right. So we're, we present you with our first single man. Hold on, hold on. I ain't see the full body. You know, how, you know what it is. She came on with that all black with the witch boots. We can't do that, fam. This joint cool. She got the high top Pee Wee Hermes. I like these jeans. 
I like this carpet stuff uh, tassel on the side too. Just the turtleneck with the stringies. It's like I don't I don't know what you're trying to put together there, but I, it's, it's a go for me. You know what I'm saying? I can work with it. All black again, eh. and then these look like them joints, but they're not them joints. If that makes sense. Um, and this all black. I don't know why they do this. I'm wearing all black, but I'm gonna put the hat on to set it off. Maybe they cold where they at. I ain't. I don't mean to skip these two, but y'all cool with me. I like the stringy heels, but I don't like when y'all put the stringy heels around denim jeans. I don't really be understanding that. Like, just wrap them joints around your ankles twelve times. You know what I'm saying? But more all black. You know what I'm saying? You 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 give me. Uh, it's a wrestling outfit a little bit, hockey low key. But this right here, boy. This a dress coat. I ain't net with a zipper in the front of that bit. You just get home and you. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, that joint is a bomber. I ain't know it was all one piece. That's a bomber joint with a zip down joint. That's tough. That's tough. Where I gotta find out what city this in. They got y'all in the hotel lobby. They filmed this shit at 3 a.m. They got lights in the hotel lobby. They weren't playing no games, fam. They got the dudes coming from the upper room when Jesus comes. But yeah, this fit right here is crazy. Well, crazy work right here. Cause it's poofy and then it get tight. What if you what if you get hot? You know what I'm saying? You can't even take your coat off because it's part of your dress. And then you got these, uh, this ain't going together. Y'all low-key country as a group, though. As a whole. Y'all, y'all some country brats dolls. That's a as a unit. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is nuts, man. <laughs> Uh, oh man, we about to get demonetized, man. Why y'all wildin', man? You can tell y'all just got into the joint. Y'all got down there, baby. You should let me love you plan. Shout out to Mario, man. You know I'm from Maryland. Shout out to Baltimore. Everybody affected by the bridge joint. Blessings and thoughts and prayers, man. To me? All right. So Eli, here. um, do you have any deal breakers? You have any red flags you see? Hold you on, anybody pop? 30 years. All right, all right, all right. So all right. Damn. I just don't like where that. Right. So Eli, so nobody um, do you have any deal breakers? She ready. Look you at her. She too flies. high. You see, you know, a lady in, in your first date that you wouldn't take him to a second date. Um, I just don't like where that. Like, probably do too much. Mm -hmm. Um, I need somebody that's like, you know, funny, smart, cool. That could probably also teach me something. Mm. What? Um, I don't like a gold digger. Like, just just want everything <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. I don't need stuff like that. You know, as long as your vibes not uh, come natural and cool. I'm gonna rock with you. Okay. All right, that's good. That's good. All right. So we see that the ladies like gold all diggers, but you can come out with this fat ass chain on all this bling bling and this damn Richard Milley watch. But you don't like iced out. But you don't like gold diggers. You you giving. I got the bag. I got the money. Come on, fam. Balloons are on. All, all the balloons. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. So also, also, I mean, what are you looking for in a woman? In an ideal woman, what are you looking for? Oh, uh, what am I looking for ideal? I won't even say it's an ideal woman. I just think like I'm all about vibes and like mm -hmm. you know like is is like like do we get along and stuff like that? Is you not always gonna? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> All right, my Hold on, these balloons got carotene in them or some shit. These got steroids balloons. Y'all got y'all got the balloons mic'd up. That shit was last scared me. Y'all startled me. And she, but she was ready to pop since the beginning. Anybody got time uh, for which boots? Okay. Like uh, you talk about, you talk about be pressuring me and stuff like that, but I do want you like to motivate me. Okay. You know, and make me uh make me a better person, a better man. Okay. I love it. All right. So we have a pop here. So let's go ahead and figure out why she popped her balloon. Yes. All right. Please, can you introduce yourself yeah. to him and um, also why you popped the balloon? Can you come to the side, please? Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Michaela. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, it's just like preference. Um, I feel like they said to pop it based on like looks first. And then like, I mean, I started to hear you talk and I felt like you'd be better matched to someone else, like just with leading. Um, I, I do agree with the characteristic tricks that you said too as well. It just doesn't feel like a good vibe of a match for me. Okay. What? Okay. All right, is there anything else, anything you want, you like to say to her? Oh, no, I respect the answer. You like to say answer? Okay. All right, so we have all, do you, do you have anybody here that you want to figure out why um, they didn't pop the balloon or you, you have interest in? Any woman here you have interest in, you like to? There's a lot of pre-lays in here, but who? 
who I have interest in, like my top yes, pick would be. Yes, any, any top pick Can I here. I do that last, I'll fight. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, you can hold off yeah. last. But do you have any questions that you'd like to ask three of these women here? Um, I'll start with her. Start with her? Yeah. Okay. No, her right here. Okay, okay, right here. Hi. All right, can you introduce yourself, please? <laughs> yeah, my name is Shivani. Okay. okay. All right, do you have any questions for her? Um, so I'm an HR, so I do human resources for corporations. And then on the side, because it's a tough economy, I'm a bottle girl too. Here and there on the weekends if I feel like it. Pop, mm -hmm. popping. I'm popping it on bottle. I'm popping it on bottle girl. Y'all know we don't do that nightlife shit. Bottle girl, hostess, waitress, bartender, strippers, popping it. Bottle girl, that's too much going on. You know we ain't doing that. That's a trap. Like that cash getting hand down, never leave. But in Bottle Girl, they I, they they had like they could fall back on it like it's a degree. I can always go back to working in a club. I got girls older than me at my age still in that bottle hosting and, and Bottle Girl. And talking about I don't like no broke man. Get up out of that club. You come. You keep. Oh, I'm tired. Day the Bottle Girl one time. They come home. That whole wig smell like black and mild. I ain't got time. That black and mild get into your pores and. Just smelling like smoke and start talking raspy and sounding like Jada Kiss and shit. Deep ass, Jay Z, Jada Kiss, Denzel Washington ass uh, voice. Just deep, deep voice, just raspy. Vampire lifestyle. Up all night, sleep all during the day, wake up hungry, PB, never clear. They all drinking all night, dehydrated. Sweet TP, it's bad business. In front of everybody, face ball players, dudes, drug deals, scammers, all in front of her face every night. If you gotta wear fishnets to work, count me out. If your ass gotta be out to work, count me out. If you gotta make somebody drink, shake some ass, have somebody talking to you in your ear, where you from, what's your name, every time just so you can get a good tip, count me out. Oh, I had to talk to him. I had to play with him. I gotta get a good tip, get money. Count me out. You ain't oh T Pendel, you ain't secure. Nah, B, I got morals. I got standards and morals. I'm good. Mm-mm. Me girl on on somebody's story shaking her ass and twerking for tip money. Count me out. What do you think? Okay. All right. Oh, and I forgot. Count me out. Moves in this lady? Who else? Oh, Her? Low cut. All right, low, low cut. Low cut. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. thank I'll you. Can introduce you call Shorty low cut. <laughs> hey, Shorty. Shorty with the low boy. <laughs> he calls Shorty low cut. That's tough. Yo, that's crazy oh, work. Yes. How you know she's smart? What you talking about right now? What you talking about right now? Why you popped her balloon, fam? Just say why you popped her. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> I like more like a little meat on there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. That's, that's, that's his preference. That's his that's preference. His preference. Yeah. Okay, Can't okay, that's fine. Nice All right, okay. All right, let's go ahead and. Also got like a trucking business. Okay. What's up? All right. Right then and there. I ain't got nothing against y'all truckers. I don't want no problems. I don't want no beasts. It's a great job. You weigh a lot. It's hard work. You're needed. Yeah, you damn near an essential worker, depending on what you trucking. Selling cars, she flipping the car, small car lot, trucking. Right then and there, I'm gonna ask if you ever been arrested before. Right then, right smack there. You say do you do that? I'm a barber. I drive trucks. Hey, you been arrested before? I gotta get that out of the way. And if you did, for what? I know you served your time and you good, but I need to know. You know, a lot of y'all try to act like, oh, your your past don't matter. All this, the, yeah, air, all, round, to, to me, your past matter. Damn it, because it matter to everybody else more. Body people like body count don't matter. Shit, me. If if your if hey if your if your credit score matter based on your history, it matters. If your health mattered based on if they want to give you some life insurance, it matters. If to, to get in college, your high school, middle school grades matter. If SAT score, it matters. After college, you want to get a, you got to graduate. You can't just become a dentist. Be like, I want to be a dentist. Okay, where'd you go for dentistry school? I want to be a doctor. Where where'd you go for medical school? I want to be a lawyer. Where'd you go for Lawyer school, whatever the hell it's called. You can't just go in there and say, oh, no, nah, I ain't go to lawyer school, but my past don't matter. This is what I want to do today. 
It just don't work like that, fam. I want to buy a house. I mean, they ain't got no credit, fam. But let, let us get that, them bank statements. Of, of, run, run, us, run us that all that bank info for the last two, three years. Oh, no, I don't got none of that. But, but it's cool, though. I'm ready to buy a house today. My, my past don't matter. It just not going It's not gonna work like that. So, Remy, you, you been locked. What, what, what you did? What's what's going on? How would you get into this? That's what I would say. Okay. All right. Next. Um, yeah, as well. You have any questions? Uh, so for me, in between jobs right now, but I was a planner for a manufacturing company for like. Hold on, cause what you mean in between jobs right now? You feel me? I had the lady came on here and said men that don't make. That make that make fifty k under shouldn't date. Y'all lady come on this dating show with no job. How you got over here? Me in between jobs right now. Well, 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 well. How you in between the job? That mean you got something coming up. You know, to be in between something is like a sandwich. You the, you the meat in the sandwich. No ditty. You got bread. You got bread. This your last job. And to be in between something, it got to be something on the other side. This the job coming up. What's coming up, baby? Do you got a plan? If you don't have no plan, you shouldn't give me, give me your balloon. You don't need me to be playing with balloons. You need to be playing with resumes and job applications. That's it. That's it. You 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 got time? Come on, internet game shows with <laughs> J O. R.I.P. Pops. Five years plus. So, yeah. See, every time I talk about manufacturing, everybody get confused. It's okay. No, 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 no. I'm not confused. <laughs> you can use big words. You can use shit. I don't know what's going on. But I, the, the, the fact of the matter is, you're unemployed. You're unemployed right now. How do you? How are you eating? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Where you live at? How you feed yourself? You in, bet in between jobs right now, that shit sound like the most lackadaisical shit ever. I'm just saying, I'm in between jobs right now. That's like, that's giving wherever the wind blows me. <laughs> shit. I ain't never been in between jobs, bitch. If I get a job, I'm, I'm working somewhere. I got to do something tonight. <laughs> and do you have any questions for him? Mm, so Don't ask shit about money. I'm guessing that's the Quran, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. That was it. All right. Okay. You're talking about the chain, right? Yeah, the yeah. chain. Yeah, that's real fire. Okay, what are you, Muslim? I think the Quran is the Bible. I think it's Muslim Bible. I think. I like that. That's my name. Oh. Oh, his name what? Quran. We'll come back to that. Let's not even. All right. That's what's up, man. My, my brother's name is Quran. That's what's up, man. All right. All right, next. Yeah. Any questions? I don't want to offend nobody if I just said the Muslim Bible, if it's even called the Bible, if it's actually called the Quran and not the Bible. I'm I'm unaware. I apologize. Me and my younger brother, his name Karan, but we have different fathers. So please don't be coming for me in the comment section. I'm gonna clear that up. I know how y'all get. I wanna tussle in the comments. So I don't want nobody feel disrespected. You feel me? <laughs> Good Friday, Easter this weekend, whatever you celebrate, I'm happy for you. I'm not judging. As long as you got your connection somewhere, I'm happy for you. All right, all right. Um my nine to five, I'm a flight oh. attendant. What? It Fudge, what man. WrestleMania, a flight attendant? I know you got them in different area codes. I told y'all about my flight attendant I had one time. We was kicking it and everything was cool. Then she popped up pregnant. Shit. I was scared it was mine. She said, oh, no, don't worry. I haven't seen you in nothing. And I guy ever dating over into the... She didn't pop the baby out, chill, breastfed, then try to hit me with the hey, big head. Man, I ain't spend no block with you, man. Man, y'all, I was just one of your hoes, man. I was one of your Florida hoes. <laughs> you ain't coming back over here, man. You popping kids out trying to get right back to it as soon as that breast milk drop. Boy, you're a scandal. You could at least let me get a shot of breast milk. Shit. Supposed to be good for you. you. Got calcium good for your bones. You could at least give me some of that warm, hot titty milk. You ain't even do that. Stingy. <laughs> Damn, boy. That's not even. All right, all right, all right. Next. Yeah. Any questions? Um, 
My nine to five, I'm a flight See, attendant. She lying. Some shit ain't something ain't right. Nine to five, you're a flight attendant. See, flight attendants, they be having some sometimes they they bartend, sometimes they bottle girl. I, I know a couple I know a flight attendant that they only fans. You know what I mean? They they I don't, I don't, they get to travel for free. They get to see a lot of beautiful places, but I feel like the pay isn't that great. I don't know what the, depending on where you live at and what airline you with. A lot of them complain about the pay ain't hitting on something, and then that pay really don't kick in until they been on the on on a job for 10, 15, 20 years, then they got priority, then it hitting different places and that, that pay just go up. Then you're really making that money um to travel for real for real. But when you coming in, you ain't really doing them. For, for, but traveling and taking pictures in all these fabulous places and, and accumulating bodies and hoes. Not everybody, but most body. <laughs> <laughs> Look how she stuttered in the beginning, bro. She lying about something. Check it out. Sending for a commercial airline. No, you know. All right, all right, all right. Check out Next. the live. Watch this. Yeah, Any questions? Um, my nine to five, I'm a flight attendant for a commercial airline. And I also do modeling. I'm a published model, and I also dance and act. Dance well. Dance well. Dance well. Tap dance? Jazz? Ballet? Plie? First position? Or, or bands that make her dance? What kind of dance are we talking about? New WrestleMania. Mm. Let's see. You better ask the right questions, Mr. Karan. Come on, bro. What kind of that host? Host, you gotta take that over from there. Let's dig deep. No Diddy. We gots to ask that question. What kind of dancing? I dance belly dance? You doing this? What you doing? What you doing? Control. What you doing? We got to know that, fam. All right, nurse. Hello. So I was a banker for six years, but currently I'm working at an accounting firm where I help people basically mitigate their um, debt with the tax with the IRS. And I do music as well, and hair, and makeup, and content creator, influencing, oh, shit. everything. Oh, hey, but dude. that's my nine to five. Okay. So, right. I so like it's that. Tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough, right? Okay, so come back here. Now, oh. now you, you definitely, okay. So we have a popper here. Can we figure out why you pop your balloon, please? Yeah, sure. Huh? So I think it's great that you're in, you know, doing your own business, selling cars and stuff like that. But I think definitely I'd like someone that has like maybe a corporate job just because the way I see my life going. You know, I work a corporate job nine to five and, <laughs> and I'd like um, someone along the lines. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, my father has his nine to five and then also does the entrepreneurial thing on the side, yeah. but I like the stable, okay, you know, and it's- Bro, a nine to five is not stable. <laughs> That's not stable. They have cutbacks, pullbacks, all that. They, they, they get your ass up out of there. <laughs> they be like, give us two weeks' notice if you leave. They won't give you no notice. They'll call you at the end of the... They'll work your ass to death one day and call you call you in the office at the end of the day and let you go. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be a team party where everybody going bowling on Friday. They'll let you go Thursday. That, ain't, that shit ain't stable? In what world? And why you just now popping? He been told you he did that. Especially because I will provide the same. Yeah. Love it. All right, so we have three here. Um, now, what you knowing, what you know about them. Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five, dude. Shout out, because most of these girls don't want no nine to five. They want a baller, they want somebody entrepreneur, they want somebody that can get up and go whenever. But that's what's up. Please feel free to pop two balloon and figure out if you're a match with um, that one lucky lady, all right? All right. So, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and pop two. Uh, hey. Damn, you didn't pop, pop low boy. Oh, okay. You didn't catch the dance? Why you pop? Okay, okay, all right. So, okay, so we have one here. Now, before we do so, just real quickly, um, why you pop her balloon, and then we'll go to her while you pop her um, balloon. And also in, in between looking for jobs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mind, like. <laughs> he said, he basically said, hey, she ain't got no job, fam. You know what I mean? She's. 
I mean, she coming into my life. She is literally about to be a, a extra bill, just a bill. And 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 women to hit you up and be like, "Hey, let's go get drinks. Hey, let's go do this. Hey, let's go do that." Women, it's different if you're in a relationship. You love a girl. You like her. Y'all been kicking. You, somebody you really care about. But getting to know somebody just chilling. Women think it's a pleasure. Like you be like, like, hey, let's go spend your money. Like it's it ain't fun all the time. If if, if I'm like I'm if I just, it, y- y- y'all y'all think we get excited just to go spend our hard earned money? Hey, let's go get drinks. Hey, let's come on. We should do this. They won't plan it. They won't ever pay for it. It's just you coming out of pocket, coming out of pocket, coming out of pocket, coming out of out of pocket, 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 pocket. That shit get old. They get L O. Uplifting somebody else as well, you know, and you know, oh, no. and building stuff like that, but. They got him mic'd up, but he's still low. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got him mic'd up. Okay. All right. All right. And then we had another pop here. Okay. So why did you pop her balloon? I said it was like basically same reason. Same reason. Because of what? Just like, you know. <laughs> I'm not looking for a job. What do you say you do? You say? I work at an accounting firm where oh. I help people mitigate their debt with the tax. Man, say you pop that shit because she got a hoodie dress on, fam. She got a hoodie dress with a coat, with a zipper. This shit is built in. You had to get that off, Timu. Ain't no way, fam. I ain't never seen nothing like that. And my Timu just be creating shit. I swear to God, I seen a toilet ring light one time on Timu. She got that off, Timu, fam. And it ain't even puffed up. It, it, it need more feathers and, or cotton in there, whatever is in there. That shit might be reversible. Turned into a Smith machine. <laughs> that shit, that should have been reversible. Turned into a magic carpet. You never know. I was a banker fixation. I'm not looking for a job. All right, all right. But yeah, it's cool. He popped it. Oh, okay. yeah. Get, okay. get them flights. All right. Okay. Get them flights. Okay. 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 I love it. I love right it. Here. Okay. So, so, okay. Okay. So, now, now. You got to see what kind of dancing show Okay. So, 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 so you basically make. Y'all be so quiet, man. Damn, the- y'all be quiet. Y'all doing too much table talk around table talk. Y'all ain't got the mic on you. Damn, if you could hear me, clap once. Shit. These, you know, beautiful ladies, um, you made a decision to um, go with this one lucky single lady here. Now, before um, we see if it's a match, do you have any questions for her? And also, do you have any questions for him? I do. Okay. Okay. Do you live alone? Yes. Okay. And one more question. Do you have kids? And if you do want kids, how many? I have one son, six years old. Yeah. And me and daughter. Okay. And how's the relationship with the mother? Uh, she ain't crazy. Nah, she lives in Georgia. I live in Jersey. Okay, cause I'm crazier, but okay. I'm saying, ask her the same question though. At least ask him. Okay, do you have any? Go- I'm about to host my own show, bro. This shit is crazy. Okay. All right, I love it. Can you can you two come here to Lovebirds? All right. Yeah, that ain't no damn belly dancing. That ain't no damn yoga. That ain't no uh, capoeira. All right, let's dance, dance right here. Okay, so now, um, are there any que- any, any last ask questions? her some questions, questions, please, sir? Uh, all right, so I think we have our first match here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make it. Okay, let's clap our hands together. Congrats okay, to the so match. We have our still. match here. You could go ahead and take your queen, and um, uh-huh. you know, together off the show. All right. Uh-huh. Hey, I love. It. Oh, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Yes, 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 Lord, yes. Okay. All right, ladies, can y'all make some? Let me see what y'all doing. I ain't even get to this fit. Like I did get to this fit. I just talked about this, but I, I like this. This these buttons about to pop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if y'all be putting this shit on. What you looking at? This you know the camera on you. What you looking like this for? Damn. <laughs> Yo, so I'm in between jobs right now. This is very interesting, guys. This is, this is very interesting. Noise for our next single, man. Woo! All right. We don't cost. All right, yo. We don't cost. We demonetize. Everybody with the beef us. Here. What's going on, guys? It's Tommy. Yeah. 
All right, Tommy. All right, so Tommy, um, we would like to know your age and um, what do you do for a living? Uh, so I'm 28. I'm a firefighter. Okay. Good job. Man. Good job. Great benefits. Shout out to the firefighters. One, hey, one day on, two, two to three days off. Love it. Great benefits. Essential worker, giving back. I love it. The little nine to five lady might like this one. It ain't nine to five, but it's, it's it ain't corporate. But you know, it's a government job. He working. He working now. And you ain't got to worry about. And you, I don't know. I ain't heard. I ain't never heard of no firefighters getting no cutbacks, no layoffs. A bull hero. You know, few other things. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. See, and most firefighters like uh, I got a, couple, a lot of firefighter friends. And associates, but most of them, since they have like they work 24 hours and then have two days off or sometimes three days off before they come back to work, a lot of them got like a little side gig or something going. That's what's up. Love it. Um, now, Tommy, what what do you look for in your ideal woman? Um, man, honestly, just to grow with. You know what I'm saying? You know, communication is big in my uh, my household. It's big with me. So if you can't communicate, I mean, we definitely not gonna work out. Mm -hmm. But if you are a good communicator, I'm a good listener. You know, and um, whatever, whatever, whatever we need to kind of, you know, situate a, a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm there. That's what's up. All right, I love it. All right, so we have some women that, a few women that pop their balloons. Um, let's make our way here to figure out why they pop the balloons. All right. I ain't even hear no all pop. Right, all right, so he must have popped through the game downstairs. Yourself and why you popped the balloon, please. Hi, I'm Michaela. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only reason I popped my balloon, you have a great vibe, great energy. Right. I just feel like it's, you're better suited for someone that's not me. <laughs> She said, that's the second time she said that. Please ask more in depth why she said that. And her, I ain't realized the first time, but her voice a little deep, a little raspy, like she been partying hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> personally, like I just, um, I can sense kind of like a compatibility situation, just at least on like looks too. I feel like, not that I'm nothing wrong with piercings or anything, but I just, um, it's overstimulating for me. Okay, no <laughs> okay. All right. All right, next. Hi, Tommy. Um, I actually she know Tommy. Too. Oh. And I know you do the whole massage thing. Whoa. Whoa. And she snitched on you. He ain't even say what he did. He said he do a few other things. Tommy doing that massage thing. I don't know if he the guy, but I know one of the guys that be doing the massages, the girls on Instagram. Look at this mouth right now. She came out and was like, I know you do the massage thing and you be knocking them down. So you a firefighter masseuse. You probably come out in a firefighter outfit with the jacket open and the chest out, cocoa oil, cocoa melon oil down, massage them. Look at everybody's face, bro. She she just dropped the bomb on you, fam. <laughs> All right. All right, next. Hi, Tommy. Um, I actually know Tommy okay. and I know you do the whole massage thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at the faces. Look at the faces. Look at the faces. What the fuck? What the hell is the massage thing? He like, damn, you ain't really had to do that. You can just pop your balloon and move on, bitch. You ruining everything for me. I can't. Yeah, we cool people though. I see you around. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just can't have my man touching up on other women. And he gives like very. They look great. Oh. Damn. Well, it's your business, right? You want to promote your business, right? No, nah, he, he he didn't say that. Look at this face right here. He said, man, you're going to town on the details. So she's, she's low-key saying no, but she's sabotaging him. And she's like, it's cool, but you be putting all these women. God damn, she threw you under the bus, bro. You really threw this man under the bus talking about something. I'm promoting your business. Hey, He's here trying to find love. To do it on. <laughs> okay. Damn. She th yeah, she threw it. That was a little salty. You could tell it. Watch, watch, look at her. Look, watch this. It's like very, they look great. <sighs> look at that. Oh. He said, slow up on the details now. Damn. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. He tried to shake it like, yo, we cool. <laughs> you ain't, you, you're already doing the most. You don't have to do any more. Here she comes. But wait, there's more. Like an Apple release. Love, I just love, can't love. have my man touching up on other women. Okay. And he gives like very, they look great. <sighs> oh. Jeez. 
Well, it's your business, right? You want to promote your business, right? Nah, he didn't. This is great. He had to find love, not promote his business. It said pop the balloon or find love. And I said pop the balloon, find love, or promote your business. She throwing his ass under the bus. Platform to do it on. That's like one of them girls being up here and he know him and then he called him out or something for like having like an OnlyFans. Or, or the other dude knew the girl was a dancer and she's like, oh, I'm a flight attendant. But she ain't mentioned the dancing. And he like, oh, you also strip. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's basically what she did. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, yeah. Nah. Let's, let's move forward. Let's keep it okay. moving. Right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Okay. So we have one here as well. Uh, can oh. you please introduce yourself and why you popped the balloon? Hi, I'm Lexi Love. I popped it because he dated someone that I know. Damn, bitch. You are... You are fucking fire in the city. Damn. That's the worst, bro. I tell people all the time, these guys, all these guys, oh, you want to have a roster? You want to have this? Once your name is out there and you in these streets, it's a wrap. Unless you rich as hell, you unless you Drake or Future somebody, ain't nobody trying to deal with you. If you already been out here knocking them down, slaying them down, rubbing them down, massaging them down, right now you look like a thought. Look at her like, ha, 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 ha. She was not trying to be polite by that. This is this is like, ha, ha, oh, she knows him too. Everybody knows this guy. He's he's the local town hoe. <laughs> he, he's, he's been running through all of these women in this jurisdiction. He has taken complete control of the zip code. Yeah, yeah. At this point in time, it's time for you to relocate, my brother. I had a couple friends I knew that was just getting dug out and knocked down, and they had to relocate. You can go to another city. You can go to D.C. You can go to Vegas. You can go to L.A. You can go to Houston. You can go to Atlanta. You can go to Miami. You can start a new life. Don't try to be too flashy and do too much because social media is still out there. They could be like, hey, anybody know this person? They put you in one of them little Facebook groups or something, and then everybody just tell all your business. But right now in this city... In this city right here, they know you, fam. You're doing too much. You're not moving discreet. You think you play a play from the Himalayas, but you're not. Let's, let's move forward. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Okay, so we have one here as well. Uh, can you oh. please introduce yourself? Look, he already knew something. Shit. And why you popped the balloon? Hi, I'm Lexi Love. I popped it because he dated someone that I know. <laughs> Everybody have it. They laughing at you. Look at the host. Look at the host face, man. Everybody laughing. You a fucking laughing stock. You thought you was coming over here. You put your new. You probably just bought that fit to get clowned upon. It's it's showtime at the Apollo on your ass. Where is Kiki Shepard? Better yet, where is the Sandman? There is Comic View. Look how she laughing in the back. Oh, ha, ha, ha. such a hoe. These male hoes. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I can't do okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't know that I know, but I know. So oh. Damn. He doesn't know that I know. So now they putting you in group chats at this point in time. They they talking shit about you. And that happens. You know what I'm saying? But, but the fact that you can't even get on the dating show and date women, you ain't got no clean slate, no fresh start. You know, already been passed around. That's what that matters. Them. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, you know. That's fine. Okay. All right. Can we, can we come Damn. here, please? Can we come I back? I just go back upstairs. Can we come back? Okay. Okay, so we have we have four balloons that are still here. So we still have chance at love for Tommy. Um, now, is there are there? Any I'd have popped my balloon out of just out of just messiness. Hey, babe, brother, you got a lot going on, brother. Any questions? Any questions that you would like to, um, you know, ask any one of these ladies? Mm. Any questions? I mean, how big on y'all on communication? Like, you know how to communicate properly. I feel like communication, like, it's key to me. Mm -hmm. If y'all have communication, y'all can kind of get through any obstacle. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's making time with somebody, actually um, getting to know somebody. Um, Mom, I'm throwing you under the bus. Um, just picking their brain. So, mm -hmm. communication is key. So, if you don't have communication, you can go ahead and pop your balloon. Okay. All right, let's. Okay. So, I have great communication. I'm sorry, I'm going to pop my balloon, though, only because, not in regards to your question, but. The whole massage thing, I, I was unaware, but I wouldn't, I just personally wouldn't be comfortable with my partner okay. doing that. Yeah. Damn. It's not a secret, right? I mean, you promote it. Yo, just chill. Why are you still talking? Your balloon is, she has a vendetta again. What did you do to her or one of her friends? Something happened, bro. Cause she is on your head. Question, top. but the whole massage thing, I, I was unaware, but I All wouldn't, right. I just personally. Look, 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 look at the hat. She got the hat on from 
uh, what the hey, 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 what the, what the little character, uh, I forgot, uh, Fat Albert, but friend hat. I wouldn't be comfortable with my partner okay. doing that, yeah. Okay. It's not a secret, right? I mean, you promote not. it, okay. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't mean to, yep, sorry. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't fake apologize. You definitely threw that under the bus. If, if I come on there and, you know what I'm saying, I do painting or music, let me say that. Ain't a, look at this girl face right here. Look at this girl face right here. Damn. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Hi, so Tommy. To that, no, All right, Tommy. You've been through a lot in this five minutes. What you say about communication? I'm big on communication. So, yeah. All right. She's big on communication. Okay. All right. So, to his question, what do you say? I'm good on that. I'm good at communicating. Never right, got to worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna have to pop. I'm big on communication, um, pop. personally. But she gonna pop because she like everybody else popping. You got a little, you got a little truck back there, a little. Uh, uh, I ain't know you had that thing sitting back there. I have my reasons. Okay. okay so your reason you like to share or you um, like to keep it private? Ain't no or. Okay, ain't no private. Yeah, yeah I know him personally. Look at these faces. Tommy, are you a gigolo? Tommy, your name in those streets are tarnished. Your name in them streets are tarnished. I remember I was talking to a girl in college, right? Boom, we graduated school. I hit up, I said, listen, man. I, I posted a picture, it was like a thirst trap. She gave it a compliment, and I was like, oh, ha, 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 ha. But she had a boyfriend now. She shouldn't even been complimenting on my. She shouldn't even been commenting on that, on that joint. I said, take the picture, throw it in a group chat, see what your friends think. Ha, ha, I'm making a joke. She's like, none of my friends will talk to you. I was like, why? She's like, because they know I used to talk to you. I'm like, I'm like, yo, this is somebody I kicked it with a couple times, but we ain't never date or even, it wasn't nothing serious like that. And then I was like, yo, how, why, how and why would your friends know we talk? Like, you know what I'm saying? This was... Years ago, I said, and then it, there's no discretion. Like, you know what I mean? What happened between you and I? Between you and I, I ain't tell nobody. I've been this woo woo woo. She's like, oh yeah, well I did, and that's when I was like, oh I right, bet I cut her ass off and blocked her. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I already knew it was probably because class. She was like, oh girl, I used to talk to such and such. She's like, oh look at he got this going on. You know what I mean? People do that. You got something going on if you if you look good or if you look better than any guy they normally talk to. They going to gloat and because most times women aren't going to be just talking and telling their business. They might tell a close, close friends, but just not all their friends like, oh, this guy's off limits that I've never seriously dated or been in a real relationship with. So I was like, damn, but this right here, this right here is different, guys. This guy might be a menace to society. We got to get him off the streets. We got to get him off the streets. Lock him up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So how? How? I'm digging in deep. Pause. I'm. Uh, how do you know him personally? Like you personally, your friends, another friend? Um, we still have two balloons here. Um, I, I will go ahead and pop mine. That yo yo ran through, and she and she looking at people like, look how nervous this fit. Look at this. Why are you Why are you looking at people like this? We still have chance at finding love. Um, do you have any questions that you like to ask these um, ladies? Can we make our way here, please? We have two ladies. Y'all not asking the right questions. I'm asking what you do for a living. You live by yourself. Uh, how long you been single? What happened with your last relationship? This is all great questions. Um, what's three things you would like to improve about yourself? Um, are you in the fitness? Uh, what's your relationship with God? Um, What's one thing? What's, what's two or three things on your on your bucket list? She's she's so over it. He ain't ish. I see it on her face. That's about six seven questions I would ask right there. I would just be running through them joints. They asking, "Are you good on communication?" Everybody said they're good on communication. Did they get upset? You don't hear from them for four days. Here, any questions? Any questions? Um, I don't know what y'all here for. Y'all really, I really here to find love, or y'all just here to, to just How you here for? I'm looking for love. About that, really? about that, about that time to settle down. Yeah. Almost 30. Yeah. That, that, that's why? Yeah. I'm saying, he said he's looking for love. It's about that time to settle down. He almost 30. I'm saying, what you mean? Y'all wilding. You, you're cooked, bro. You're cooked in these streets. Huh? No one can save you. Like, I have a question. For, okay. Ask it. You know, do you go to church? Yep. Can, you, yeah. Yeah. Not like too big. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too, too big, but I'm big on church. I pray, man. Pray. 
I'm not. Do you go to church? Yep. I'm not like too big. I'm not like too big, but I'm big on church. I ain't never heard nobody. He he said he he made that shit sound like it was a restaurant. I ain't I ain't really too big on cheesecake cheesecake factory, but you know I go there. It's cool. <laughs> I fuck with every now and then. Okay. All right. Okay. I love him he talking. he. I don't like his eye contact. Either. He's not really looking at no people in the eye. I love that. I love that. I love that. Any any questions you have? Any questions for Tom? Nope. Okay, no questions, mm -hmm. okay. Now, do you have any questions for them? Um, I mean, help me think of one. Okay. Me okay. I mean, um, um, do they know how to cook? Mm, that's that a good a, one. Because you're a man. You know, I, I do cook a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to I'm keep you fed, so who know how to cook? I mean, I'm asking myself. Same here. It's <laughs> my blood, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, okay, let me get a little scenario, right? So, mm -hmm. we had a long night. We went out to dinner. Went out to party, got home at, got drunk, got home at like, I'm gonna say four o'clock in the morning. Four? Right? Now, you wake up first, what's the first thing you're doing? Let's start with you. It doesn't involve food. So I'm gonna just pop that, <laughs> just keep it on okay. The literal first thing I'm doing when I wake up, I'm going to the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like literal. Why does she pop? See why she popped a balloon? And the first thing you're gonna do, yeah, of course, go to the bathroom. Well, okay, I was. I'm gonna obviously make something to eat if you're hungry. Like, yeah. Yeah, I was making more terms of that. Like, what are you doing with your first? Like, I can make breakfast. It's okay. not that serious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I love it. Okay. So See why she pop. See why Shorty uh, pop. See why Shorty pop. Here. See you too, please. Ah, why you ain't see why Shorty pop the balloon? No, so, um, come back here with me, please. Okay. <laughs> Come back here with me. They right, like, so go ahead. Everybody match. else can already had them. Uh, before we found out if this is a real, really, um, you know, um, good match. Do you have any questions for each other? Any questions? Do you have any questions for him? You have kids? No kids. How old are you? Oh, okay. I'm 25. Do for work. I'm a pharmacy technician. Illegal. Yeah, okay. You said a legal one. Okay. Where you live at? East Orange. Okay. Where do you live? East Orange. Oh, okay. Okay. He's orange. He's orange. Okay. Okay. We, okay. Okay. So, so. Okay. All right. So it looks like we. Do we have a match here? I don't know. Y'all tell me. You? I ain't popped the balloon. You have a quack? Okay. You want to pop the balloon? Okay. All right. So we have a match here. All right. We are, let's make a noise. Some noise for our second match. All right. Make some noise for our second match. All right. And you could go ahead and take your beautiful single lady with you. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's make some noise. Let's make some noise for ladies. Yes. All right, ladies, let's make. It's the last of the Mohicans. We got a six piece. All flats. No, 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 no. One, one of them ain't flats. One of them. One of them. Oh, we got five flats. And bone, one boneless. Some noise for our next single gentleman. Woo! All right. They got this man walking down the stairs. Can we talk for? I want to see this walk down, bro. I got to meet this because they playing that BS, man. It ain't BS, but they playing that demonetization. Man, everybody wearing the little shirts. You can't even lift your hands up. Them dudes came out with them shirts. I, I said, go like this. I, I was a little scared, dude, because I ain't know if my shit was going to be sweating under my armpits, but I'm chilling. I'll be like, these lights get hot in here. I'll be like, go like this. The big whole belly button going to be out. Let's show that belly. Let me see what they look like. They're cooking. So I missed a couple pops. Oh, my dog looked in the camera. He meant business. All right, all right. So do, who do we have here? Can you please introduce yourself? So my your pop. name. Um, what do you do for a living and your age, please? Uh, my name is Evans. I'm a cell site engineer. And I'm 29. Okay. 29? The fuck y'all put in the, in the... What? What? 29? I thought you was... Folded three at least. What y'all putting in it? What y'all what y'all was eating? What's in these school lunches? Do y'all am I tripping? Is this 29? This 29? This 20 this this might be 29. But this ain't 29. Am I tweaking? Man, this shit, y'all, y'all, the, 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 
the 20, the 22, 23, 24, 25 year olds, y'all looking about 45. And them people that's 35, 40, 45, looking about 30. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's inflation that's causing this or what's happening. Was it the pandemic? COVID? Okay. All right. Um, and now. Damn. Okay. We have damn. 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 All right. All right. Um, we have some props. We have some props here. Tough crowd. Okay. Tough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we have some props here. It started um, popping off. Okay. All right. And I'm 29. Okay. All right. Um, and now. Okay. Okay. We have okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, we have some pops. That was four pops. There's only six of them. Only two okay. balloons left. Okay. So, so, okay. So we have some pops here. Um, let's figure out. Let's go ahead and make our way um, and figure out why they popped your balloons. All right. Okay. All right. Can you please um, introduce yourself and um, why you popped your balloon? Hi. My name is Shivani. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. Just, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. That's all. That's all. all right, all right. Next. Hello, my name is Iffy. You're actually one of my brother's friends, so. No. <laughs> Who's your brother? DJ Kens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, right, okay. Who, you thought you, who, you thought, who you thought your brother was? The guy, DJ Kens. She said a name like he was Jazzy Jeff or some damn body. <laughs> you, got, you, got some, you got some good siblings. She's supporting you, brother. Hello, my name is Iffy. You're actually one of my brother's friends, so. <laughs> he looked at you like. Man, I don't even really, what would your brother like that for real, for real? We just be around. <laughs> we just use him getting the parties for free. Watch it, watch you like, all right, you know, I ain't really friends with anything like that. He cool, he cool, we see him around. Who's your brother? DJ Ken. Don't do that shit no more. I hope he don't do it like that, but don't do that shit no more. I wish I could slow mo this. All right, all right, next. Hello, my name is Iffy. You're actually one of my brother's friends, so. What's your brother's name? Watch this. Who's your brother? Watch this, watch this, watch this. DJ Ken. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's like, all right. All right. Okay. So, so you're, I guess you're not dating your any one of your uh, your brother's not really friends. Really interested. It's, if your brother, they might be mutual friends on social media or some shit, but if your brother a DJ, man, he know every damn body. Okay. All right. So we're moving on next. Hey, all right, so. my name is Kane. And what's your name? Kane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I just think you're right for somebody else, just not me. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It's Lexi Love. Oh no! Nah. You know she remind me of yo Beef Simone a little bit. She give me Beef Simone vibes. Again, I just I don't have a reason. I can't give you honest. What's the reason? I need a reason. This reason, I don't know. You handsome? I don't just I just don't know. <laughs> okay. So so I don't you have think a he's reason. attractive? You find him handsome? I think he's attractive, but he's just. I don't feel like he's my vibe, like the energy. Like it's, I like the certain type of energy. It's just not given the energy that I want. The look, yeah, but it's not the vibe. What energy do you want? Mm, you, great question. Great question. Well, you were supposed to give it in the beginning. Now it's gonna. He ain't asked you that. He didn't ask you that. He said, "What energy do you see?" They don't be knowing. I like the certain type of energy. It's just not given the energy that I want. The look, yeah, but it's not the vibe. What energy do you want? Great. That's a good question, bro. That's a simple ass question. I want somebody to be goofy, more charismatic, more bubbly, more out there, more joking, more serious, more stronger, big D energy. What kind of energy you want? You, you were supposed to give it in the beginning. Now it's going to be Give fake. what? <laughs> you're going to do I mean, it because I'm I, asking you. I just walked if in. If I tell you masculine and aggressive, that's what you're going to be now after? It's nah, nah, man. I ain't going to chain myself up. We just want to know. We just want to know. I just want to know. No, 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 I'm asking you, what do you look for? Like, I just walked downstairs. Just yeah. the just body language. It's just a body language that I look for. A certain type of confidence. You looked a little nervous. You're on a game show on the internet. People don't do this. Why are you doing all this with your face? I'm going to let you slide on this one because your balloon ain't pop yet. It's cool, but you got the facial expression. You got, you got meme-worthy facial expressions. Like you were looking around a little bit. I was eyeing. They can't look around. You can't check out. You can't check out where the nearest exit is. You like he I came down the stairs on a on, on a six v one. Of course he nervous. I'm, I'm trying not to fall for it. He he got to try to be cool. Walk down the stairs and see how many ladies down here and see what y'all looking like for the first time. Shit. 
you would be nervous too. Acting like I was gonna pop it and you look nervous. So I, I feel nervous. like, yeah, I feel like you look nervous. It's you cool. come down here on your, yeah, come down here like, you know, confident, like, this is who I am, and nah, I'm not I doing do this, that. that. He just went down 16 steps. I ain't doing that. And he probably got dress shoes on. Shit's probably slick at the bottom. A lot of y'all don't know. You got big feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm about size 12, you know. But them steps, steps ain't built for size 12s. When you step down some steps, only half of your foot be on the steps coming down. And that's the heel part. That heel, that heel do this. Your ass falling down the steps, hitting your neck, your back, your ass, your tailbone. You got to come down there and, and gracefully. Sometimes to the, on the, like you got to come down them steps on the, on the angle on the side of them hole like this. I'm coming down the steps like that. You feel know I me? Mean? But you're handsome. So it's no. Man, next. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to come that bitch, do a round off to a back handspring. Okay, so we do. So we have two. We have two balloons that haven't popped yet. That is good. Can you please? Hold on, fam. We ain't at, why, why she pop? Turn around, turn, um, okay. All right, so we have two balloons that have not popped yet. Why? Uh, we, ain't, you, we ain't asked four girls why they ain't pop, did we? Would you have, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask him to kind of further get to understand who I he is? I might have missed yeah. something. Yeah, um, where are you from? The way I was born? Yeah. Ghana. Ghana, oh, okay, cool, yeah. okay, cool. Um, do you have any kids? Okay, cool. Um, do you want kids in the future? Yes, I do. And like, do you have any type of religious affiliation? Yeah. Yeah, I'm affiliated. I'm affiliated with a couple of religions. <laughs> Christian, cool. And then, do you have um, uh, like, oh god, I was trying to figure out like, I guess like. Here she go. We was with you. We was with you, fam. We was with you. We was with you. Upbringing wise. This loose ass watch. This damn watch almost wrapped around your forearm. So you like the oldest? Who watches this? This your granny watch. Who watches this? Who wrist does this belong on? Who watch is dangling like that? Take that watch and watch and go like this. I got beans, green potatoes. It's the middle, youngest. I mean, on my in my mother's side, I'm What's, the middle. Okay. And then my father's side. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm like the fourth. Man. The fourth, got you. Daddy okay, out there, cool, cool. daddy. Okay. Rolling Stone, right. daddy. Yeah. Um, do you have any questions for her? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Philly. Philly? Yeah. So um, what do you do for, for a living? I'm a surgery nurse. Oh, that's But tough. I also do like a lot of other stuff. Like I sing, I dance, I like, I do movies and like TV and yeah. music production and so made, I like a few things. did you get into the um, surgery nurse? Um, a few years ago, so um, I graduated 2021, and I've been a surgery nurse ever since. Yeah, my mother's a nurse, so I have a lot of respect for y'all. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's what's up. That's awesome. All right. Okay. Love it. All right. Let's make our way down here and figure that's out. That's what's up, man. Um, you, gotta, you see how you asked why she got into nursing. You got to ask these nurses these days because there used to be nurses get into nursing because they actually care about people and and the well-being and taking care of one of uh, uh, people and stuff like that. Now they getting into nursing for the bag. It's good money. They don't even like people like that. You know what I mean? Just be mean as hell, but I'm a nurse. How? How are you helping people? Ain't no, you short-tempered with me. How are you having any kind of patience with your patients that are ill? Hey, haven't you popped your balloon? What do you find? See, or originally my pin fell, so I couldn't pop it. Oh. <laughs> so I had to borrow somebody else's pin. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, okay. You're really handsome, but like, uh, you know, okay. that, that, that that's why I just popped it was why because it, it fell over. Here you go, here go your pin back. I'm so sorry. Yo, y'all got a real pin out there. Y'all dangerous with it. Sorry. Okay. okay. Why did you pop? I mean, okay. So, oh, no. so why why yeah, why did you yeah, want to pop your balloon from the start? Okay, so off the rip, the first first guy, y'all need to split y'all confidence level. He overly confident, so it comes off as cocky, and you're so chill. That's like, mm, I need a little bit more. You, you know. You can't win, bro. You can't win. You, if you're too confident, L. If you just chill, L. You don't have a job, fam. You don't have a job. You're unemployed. You're unemployed. You haven't found the middle ground for yourself, but you don't want nobody overly or underly confident. You want to right in the middle. I guess that's right where you at in the middle, but in the middle of jobs right now. 
There's nothing wrong with being laid back, but it's like, when you walk in the room, I'm like, I see him, but I want to see him without having to really do too much, you know? Y'all sitting here, standing here like a police lineup. Y'all really not exuding or, or showing any kind of co character, confidence, or energy either. Y'all just holding a balloon in the pen. You know how crazy that look? You know how crazy that look? We're going to stand here with a balloon in the pen. Now tap dance, nigga. You better and make it good. Make it entertaining. Y'all standing there like Squid Games or some shit. Like, so tell him y'all need to split. You know, Nobody half telling half. him that, but man. But other than that. Take your ass to work. Yeah, okay. sorry. Yeah. So, 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 okay, so it's a confidence. Yeah, you, you, it's like, but it's like, uh, yeah. Maybe once you come out there beatboxing and all them shaking and shit like Diddy. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Yeah, yeah. Like it sorry, sorry, you sorry, can't sorry. win, fam. Okay. You got too much confidence, you out of there. Not enough confidence, you out of there. From walking down the steps. I, I feel like it's not my fault that, you no, know, it's not. people. That's what I'm if you paint a persona on, me, on somebody, that's not their fault. No, no, no. That's what so I'm saying. I just walked down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that nigga's absolutely right, though, bruh. He just walked down some a flight of steps. What did y'all want him to come down the steps? I guess, ah, 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 ah. Ah, don't pop that balloon, bit. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts, man. I was saying, but once you spoke, I was like, ah, okay. Because it was just so, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, let's, let's, go. let's come back. Let's come. I thought ladies like, oh, I like a quiet man. It ain't in everybody's face. Ain't on doing it. I like somebody quiet. This is nuts, man. Okay. okay. Yeah, me okay. too. I, okay. I didn't take it as, I took it as you being very humble, if anything, because okay. it was like, I don't know, I'm a hype person, so like, I feel like that, Kind of like Nick, up. the opposite of track, kind of vibe. Okay. And then like, it doesn't seem, I feel like when you're comfortable in a spot, you are that hype, energetic people probably want confident yeah. on the spot. Yeah. So I could sense that. That's why I wasn't taking. Yeah, she she seemed very like bubbly and da 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 But she seemed, it, it's just, I, it, it's just too much for me. It's just too much. I feel like she would never be quiet. She get to going. I'm like, yo, you don't, you don't feel like being quiet for a little bit? You don't want to be, you ever, you ever think about like, if ain't nobody talk and it was like quiet in here and it was like mute for real, for real? Like be quiet type shit. Taking it as, Please. like, okay. yeah, most of the people feel like are taking it. Okay, okay. All right, so, so we, so she, she kept her balloon. Yeah. So she find interest in you. Yeah. Um, do you have any questions that you have for her um, at this moment? I mean, I already asked her the question. I think she's cool. I think she got a great head on her shoulders. Um, Sergi nurses. It's a big thing, so I, yeah. really, I respect that grind okay. for going to school, becoming that, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, I love it. Do you have any questions um, for him? Yeah, like why did you put um, computer science? I guess, well, well your engineering is like. So, I'm a, so, so what I do is, is um, I'm a contractor for Verizon. So oh, okay, cool. I work, I work on um, cell towers for 5G. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, so the, yeah, I, I go all the way around, all the way around um, Jersey, some parts of PA. I was in Delaware for like two weeks working. Yeah. You know, I just got back yesterday. That's awesome. So that's what I do, yeah. Okay. That's what's up. That's cool. All right, I love it. So I think we have a potential uh, match here. <laughs> okay. We have a potential okay. match here. Okay. Yes. Should they, should they pop a balloon? <laughs> should they pop a balloon? So that's good. Yeah. And, you know, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel about her? What do you, you I like, know? I love the hair. You, know, you can never go wrong with curly hair. Yeah, okay. You know, I love okay. the dress. It's cool, man. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. So it seems, it looks like we have our, this is our third. We have our yeah, third match three here. Three, yeah. I, I didn't together. watch the other joint. Yes, 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 they ain't yes, never yes. had right, more than so one match on the show. And take your beautiful oh, something in the water in Arizona. Away, all right. Oh, let's make some noise for them. Let's make some yeah, noise. Yeah, make some noise. Yes. All right, all right. That's good. She's like, this shit going good. good. This shit going better than I thought. <laughs> told you guys to show at work. <laughs> hey, we creating matches here. I told you. Great matches here. We doing this. All right, all right, ladies. Let's all right now. Final four now. March Madness now. Final four. Come on, Pee Wee Herman boots. Come on, Ugly Wuggies. Come on, Floss Lace joints. Come on, Tina Turner pants. Come on now, y'all really in the hotel lobby with this? I don't know how y'all pulled this off. Man, I told people use the other entrance. Some noise for our next single gentleman. Woo All right. Oh, 
I don't know what song that is, so let's mute that. I want to see how these fools walking downstairs since they're getting a lot of smoke for how they come down the stairs. They got the dreadhead coming down by. He got the fat shoe strings on them shoes, and I don't even know what them called, but a lot of people wearing them. You yeah, man, he got the curly fried locks. He said passenger red bone. Oh my gosh! Look how she act like she was scared. She she popped out like she was scared. Mamba eighty three named Kobe. That's what's up, man. Boom, he came down. Light eyes and shit. Look, look how she popped that shit. She got scared. Y'all relax. Y'all, oh, she thinking about it. She thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. Let me see what we got cooking. Y'all for coming out. All right, so who do we have here? I'm Kobe. I'm from Everton. I'm 26. All right. Yeah. All right, Kobe, Um, can you please let us know um, what do you do for a living? Me, I'm in school right now with CDLs. I'm out to own a truck, and I do, like, part-time mechanic at my dad's shop. I gotta know yo. I gotta know that criminal history. You part time mechanic at your dad's shop, and you see the Ellen. What that youth looking like, my brother? What did what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you city slickers when I see them. Here, yeah, let me do a background check. Let me get your last four your social, my brother. What's your date of birth? Come on, give it to me. I'm just joking, but I'm not. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so um, I see we have two um, balloons that were popping. Damn. Okay, great. Damn. Damn. They took my dog out. Oh, he like, really? He like, what happened? Damn, you can't even get your CDLs no more. You heard what Drake said? What if I have my CDLs? Living on the ATL. I'm going with the NEL. Okay. Yo, I appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Can we start from here? Um, okay. So uh, I first, um, I'd like to know that. your name and why you popped your balloon. Yeah. My name is Shivani. Um, you just look really young for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, it's just not for me. All right. Granted. Hello. My name is Ify. Um, I just wasn't feeling the vibe. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we would have meshed well. No. Hi. My name she is Ify. <laughs> She was iffy about the vibe. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> okay. And, and, uh, just wasn't. You seem cool, but. I just... appreciate it, yeah. Wow, like... what you mean, seem cool? Why you passed on them? You ain't like them? Just like that. I'll be like, what well, you ain't like them? Hey, yo, did, you, did somebody you would rock with? If I was asking ask him that. We need more detail. Hey, don't eat me up in the comments. <laughs> Ain't nobody about to eat you up in the comments. You feel me? Now with the olive. Today, All in one yeah, fit. Just wasn't. You seem cool, but. I just... Talking about don't eat me up in the comments. This might. Don't eat me up in the comments. <laughs> he's just too short for me. Okay. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Really yeah, I just feel like he's. Yeah, just face to face type of vibe. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate y'all coming out though. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Really Not, so sweet. You keep making us cosmetic cheeks. Now, um, do you have any anything you like to say, ladies? Anything anybody you like to say? No, I'm saying I wish y'all luck and like y'all love. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Man, wrap this shit up, man. Hey, my dog ain't messed up with film and all these little ass. All right, so uh, to, so so today today wasn't a lucky day. Thank you, my dog. Um, what we'll probably what we'll do is we'll reinvite you mm -hmm. um, here on the, the probably the next episode, mm -hmm. and hopefully we're able to um, get you. A they match. feel bad. Everybody else found a match for him. Be like, man, we gotta get you back on here. Get you another shot, my brother. He should. If he was like, it's harder for if you're the last person to, to come out, and then three people before you didn't already matched. You know what I'm saying? They giving this motherfucker like honorary mention compliments and shit. Don't nobody want them sorry ass compliments that the all didn't pop my balloon. Don't say shit to me. Oh, well, maybe we could connect and work together. You seem like a really nice guy. You got nice skin. I love the locks. Shut your ass up. Here, so that you not you do not leave nah, single. Well, well, all right. Appreciate that. All right, all right. Pleasure <laughs> meeting you. <laughs> Ladies, can we make some noise for him? No, nah, no, nah, don't clap right, for me going right, back up still. All right, all right, all right. All right, ladies, let's make some oh, noise for more? our next single gentleman. Let me get this. Let me get that turned down real quick. All right, Quincy. Quincy, I know a dude named Quincy that used to live down by Waters, down twenty-two. Quincy, 
Shout out to all the Quincy's in the world, man. See what my Quincy's all Quincy talking about. Who do we have a pleasure today? I'm, I'm Quincy. Uh, I'm a hairstylist and a barber. I'm from Jersey. So, yeah, if you ever want to get your hair done, I'm here. I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just leave it right there like that. All right. I love. I love. It. And um, how old are you? Chris? I'm 26. Okay. 26. Okay. She so all the balloons are still. So, I knew okay. it. Okay. She had. She had now, that pop. Now. Look at her. All right. Who you? Who you I looking at? Like you got a lifeline or some friends there just telling you, girl, should I pop? She looking at the audience like it's Price is Right and shit. Are you? Watch this. I'm 26. 26. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 26. Okay. Who you look. Who is this? Who's over here? Who's over there? Who's over there? You already, you read, should I do it? Should I, is, this is not good for me? No, no whammy? What, uh, higher or lower? So all the balloons are still, so, okay, okay, one point. Now, now, um, what, what do you, you know, what do you look for in your ideal woman? Uh, right now I'm at a time period where I'm like really focusing on my goals. So um, I'm very like goal driven. Mm -hmm. um, I got some shit I'm trying to do right now. So um, as long as you add in and not subtract into my life. Okay. Tell me. That's all. Okay. All right. So we have one balloon that popped. Let's go ahead and figure out why she popped her balloon. All right. Uh, please, what's your name and why you popped your balloon? Hi. My name is Shivani. Hold on, fam. We at 32, 39. 32, 39 we at. 32, 39. He left with her. What happened to the ball, hey, girl? We, what happened to L Lil' Head? Did somebody else match with the Lil' Head? He ain't matched with her. He matched with her, right? Then he came out. He matched with nobody. What happened to Lil' Head, bro? I knew I wasn't tripping, bro. They be trying to pull a fast one on me, bro. What happened to Lil' Lemon Head, bro? So that was very nice of you to introduce yourself like that. Um, I popped my balloon just because the let me hear Rod left. They said, "Look, you ain't got no job. You ain't got no ride. You, I'm leaving. You come with me or you stand." She had to get up out of here. I knew some shit happened, but what the hell happened to Let me hear? It started with eight. They had three matches so far. That's five. So now it's four up there. Lemonhead was the fifth. Look isn't really for me. I'll be observing, bro. I, I'm observing as hell, bro. I'm observing as hell. Personally, and also then like what you do for a living, good for you. I'm very happy. Um, I popped my balloon just because the look isn't really for me personally. And also then like what you do for a living, good for you. I'm very happy. But I think I've mentioned previously, like I'm in HR mm -hmm. and I'm a corporate girl and I would like to have a man that's going to understand that lifestyle and be able to, you know, implement their life into that lifestyle. So you think because I'm a hairstylist and a barber, I can't. I yeah, that makes no sense, bro. That that makes no sense. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I actually, like, in my past, like, I prefer, like, the corporate lifestyle over someone that's kind of doing what I'm doing or in social media or entrepreneurship or whatever, any of that other type of shit. I, I like that. Um, but just and the only thing I could think like she wants somebody to be on her same type of schedule type shit like you know what I mean but I don't I don't know understand your lifestyle no it's it's not that it's really not that it's what is just it? I know what I like and I know what I want and I just don't see myself specifically with the man that you're the only one that's in a corporate job on this show you're of eight women, you were the only one that just had, I, I think, that just had a corporate job. It was other ones. It was the nurse. That's not corporate because those are like 12-hour days. And it was some people that just had multiple different jobs. But she's the only one on both sides that just has a regular nine to five. Other dude was the engineer, but he was just saying, like, that's not regular either because he was like, oh, I was just in Jersey for a couple weeks. I was just over here for a couple weeks. But I don't know. You need to find somebody at like a corporate event. You ain't got to find, you don't never want to do the way you eat, where you work at, but, or eat at, whatever the saying is, but corporate events have a corporate run.
You can have a 5K run. They have corporate events where you can sit, go and meet other corporate people. That's where you need to be at. Not on a pop balloon challenge on YouTube. You looking for a corporate dude on a pop balloon challenge? A corporate man? Ah, I don't know, fam. I don't know. Does hair for a living. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. It's just for you ain't gotta keep saying nothing wrong with it if you believe there ain't nothing wrong with it. Why you even say that in in, ge in general? That's like me saying like, there's nothing wrong with your corporate job. There's nothing wrong with it. Just imagine me keep saying there's nothing wrong with being a corporate like worker. There's nothing wrong with it. Like I'm not trying to come. On. You, you low key saying something's wrong with it while saying ain't nothing wrong with it. For me personally, I see myself with like a corporate man, businessman in corporate. <laughs> she want a suit and tie guy so bad, but do the suit and tie guys want you? Because even in corporate, you, I know she's not going to want somebody that's on her same level financially. She's going to want somebody that's upper. Do those guys want you? You've been working in corporate for some time now. Why haven't you found that guy? Why are you here? And, and this fit is not giving corporate. This fit is not. I don't know what the memo was. Dressed like you're going on a first date. He looks more corporate than her. Besides the tattoos on his neck. Okay. All right. I respect it. Thank uh -huh. you. I'm an entrepreneur myself, so I am a businessman, uh -huh. in fact. But um, I respect that. Okay. You can go to the next. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next. Um, now, I would like to, I'd love to figure out why you didn't pop your balloon. Um, very attractive man. Uh -huh. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, why is she such a hater? Listen to the very attractive man compliment. Watch her face when she says he's very attractive. Peep game. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next. Um, now, I would like to, I'd love to figure out why you didn't pop your balloon. First of all, why are you looking all in my mouth and her face like that? Get up out me. Stand. You need to back up. Don't horseshoe this line. Shoulder to shoulder this thing. Come on, guys. Watch this. Um, very attractive man. <laughs> he looking. He like, oh, yeah? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this girl look. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, and I... Oh, the, my name is The Ify. level I'm, of hate right um, there. Now, I would like to, I'd love to figure that out why you didn't pop nuts, the Nuts, bro. You got to um, Very attractive man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, too. She hating on it, too. What's wrong with giving a guy a compliment? Why is that bad? A guy came down and said, everybody looks beautiful. Y'all look great. Appreciate it. Look, she's smiling, having fun. Why? Why is that bad? Look at the body language, guys. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is just regular people looking at a stranger. A girl says you're attractive, and they feel the way. Um, look, and look. I rolled her eyes. She rolled her eyes. Oops, sorry. Why you didn't pop your balloon? She rolled her eyes. Um, very attractive man. <laughs> wow. Eye roll coming soon. Watch this. Watch this eye roll. Um, and I, oh, my name is Iffy. I'm 26. Oops, sorry. I don't yeah. Don't poke nobody with that damn and thing. And I like that you um, are a barber, an entrepreneur, and it, hopefully you have other goals and aspirations, right? I, can I ask a few questions? Yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Um, do you have a relationship with God? Yes, I do. Um, I grew up in a very religious household. Uh, I went to church with my grandparents every Sunday. But um, now that I'm older, you know, I, I'm very busy right now. I fully book most weeks. So Sundays I do work, um, but I do try to, you know, read the, the Bible and look at scriptures sometimes, you know, just to remind me to keep my head focused. And, and folks out there, like, going to church is great. It's great being around church, folks, uh, the word, praise and worship, all of that. But it's 2024, you know what I'm saying? You, church is everywhere. If you want it, you can get it. You know, you can get it every day. It's You can go on YouTube, go to your, go to your church's YouTube and hear that. That worship or that or, or or that sermon that you missed the previous week, or you could save and listen to your favorite one. You feeling a you feeling like you in a time you can just you. It's everywhere. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Um, it's everywhere. So like you know, what I mean, don't, you don't have to be like at the church house. Like you know, what I'm saying like so. Don't don't look at it like that too. I don't. I feel like he's kind of shamed about that a little bit. Listen straight, you know. Um, how do you handle conflict in a relationship? Put a bit in a headlock. I'm joking. I'm joking. Joking. Bad joke. Sorry. That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, Great question. Um, just talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
we not mind readers, you know what I'm saying? I can't understand what you're going through if you don't tell me. That's about it, just talk. All right, I love it. Do you have any questions for her? Um, where are you from again? I'm actually from Jersey as well. I'm from West Orange. Okay. Okay. Shout out to the Daddy, Daddy Jersey, man. That's where we at Jersey. I'm just, I'm just now noticing that, you know what I'm saying? I have some family up in uh, Willingboro, you know what I'm saying? I went to church a couple times up in Trenton and my adolescence. Shout out to uh, New Jersey. Shout out to Cherry Hill. Yeah, shout out to Jersey for real, for real, man. I rock with y'all. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Um, what is your What is your dream? Like, what's your dream? What are you trying to do? Like, your dream goal? Um. So I'm trying to build either a group home or a foster home for kids who are actually being taken care of. That's a long term goal. So I'm trying to strive towards that. Right. Okay. That's what's right, up. Let's I like go that. ahead and move on. Please, um, can you introduce yourself and why did you you didn't push, pop your balloon? Hi, my name is Kane. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to pop you, but um, I didn't pop the balloon because I like your taste in music. Did you choose that song? Yeah. I love oh, so they choose the own song they come down the stairs to. She said I like your taste in music. I mean, she started jamming a little bit coming down the music. Buddy had that. that 29 year old had that older song oh, playing. Some brand. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, you're attractive as well. I appreciate it. Okay. Let me see if the hater gonna peek her way out the back. All right, any questions? Villain. Um, what do you like to do for fun? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I love to hike. I'm a very, uh... Uh, I like to hike. Uh, I'm very active. Um, I actually got. I like that. I'm my bachelor's in. Health exercise science, so like working out is like. He must have been an athlete. I think that's damn near the easiest major you can get. And they just throw you in there. You play with Legos or some shit. You know what I learned, so that's what I try to do. I work out mostly every day of the week. What else do you do for I just fun try to, besides like, working Stay consistent, out. stay disciplined. You know what I'm saying? What else? All right. Now, do you have any questions for her? Uh, who else you listen to? Like, who else is in your playlist? I listen to a whole lot of R&B, mm -hmm. a lot of old people, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Old soul. Mm, old Wait, soul. I like that Whitney. I, I like yeah. Erica Badu. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm old soul too. Right. You got you got something you got something against Erica. You got something against Erica. I'm about to be off. I'm about to be off you, fam. Crop her out the video. Okay. Oh, okay. I can think long. All right. Strong. Okay. All right. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Why? Um. What's your name and why did you? Why did you pop your balloon? I'm Lexi Love. He just looks like somebody that I used to date. Oh damn. He like every time I look at him, I'm just like, I'm trying not to see. I just I just see them. I can't. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. he gave you that bad feeling. Yes. And I, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. You. Yeah. Trauma, man. Okay. I hate being so okay. what? All right. That's true. Okay. That's fine. All right. All right, so um, let's move, let's go ahead and move back. Okay, so we do have two balloons that have been popped. That's good. Um, now, are there any questions that you'd like to, you know, um, ask them, both ladies? Um, what are y'all looking for in a man? You know what I'm saying? Um, someone who's selfless, has great form of communication. Mm -hmm. Someone who's dedicated, emotionally intelligent, and is is going to be able to provide for like himself, myself. I can provide for myself. I I know how to. I have my own job, but that would be nice as well. Okay, I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. I know I had it up to here with corporate. Fucking corporate. I'm reporting you to corporate. What do I look for in a man? A leader. Spiritually, emotionally, mentally. I just need somebody to, you know, put his foot down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was with it with all the leadership. You know what I mean? Somebody to be there for you, have a shoulder for you, lean on, have your back. But put the foot down means you trying to be checked or put in place. I ain't got time to be checking and putting grown ass adults in place. What you meant by that? I, I, when you say checking and put it, put the foot down. When you say put your foot down, what you mean by put the foot down? You feel me? <laughs> what you mean by that? What you gotta do by that? Okay. All right, I love it. Now, um, are there any questions that you ladies have for him? I have a question. They ask, uh -oh. Like, what is your ideal like date or date night or mm -hmm. weekend looking That's like? That's a great question. Uh, date, like weekend, you said? Weekend or date night. Like, okay. yeah. um, I'm a I'm a big traveler, so um, I probably like plan a weekend in like DC, somewhere fun, where we can like go to museums. I, I love museums, very artsy. Um, I'm very into like vintage stuff and clothes and stuff. so I love museums and stuff like that. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, and then obviously. All right. So gotta eat. I shit. love it. So we have two balloons. Had to say playing the playing the trips. We going to DC. <laughs> I like that. They like to the travel. They like to get out of town. I'm out of town. Thugging with my round. No, not popped yet. Um, now, got, make, just make them pop one. We're between these two ladies, uh -huh. right? Between they these done. two ladies. Y'all done pop. Um, you can go ahead and, you know, pop one one balloon and keep one balloon. All right? Okay. Is that something you can do for us? Uh, I can okay. try. Okay. Let's go ahead and give you this pen. Uh, All right. Ooh. Damn. They're both very beautiful. I'm happy. Turtle neck. Okay. Now. Turtle neck. Okay. Uh, why did wow. you pop her balloon? Um, I just I like what she said. She huh? was, you know, she yeah, she was very inspirational. And I, I just and I like her vibe. Okay. I like her energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. love, love her energy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So step, you kept her, bring her in, balloon. Step right up. Step uh, right up. Are there any questions or anything you would like to? Ask her before. Uh, I just hope you uh, reciprocate the same um, feelings, you know what I'm saying? If you don't. Okay, all right. Can you two love That's birds? what's up. He seemed genuine, here? though. All right, can you come here, please? Come on that side. All right. Okay, Denim. so. Denim on. Okay, Denim. this is looking like a potential, a potential match here. Um, are there any questions? Any questions before, um, you, you know, I send both of you out um, on your honeymoon and prepare for the wedding? Are there any questions? Nah, no questions. Uh, no questions. Okay. No question. All right. So we have our fourth match here. Let's put our hands together. Yeah, okay. Lit. All right. So now, Quincy, they started you can go ahead and take your <laughs> single woman away. All right. Oh, let's make some noise for them. Let's make some noise for them. Yes. All right, ladies. Let's make some noise for our last single gentleman. Damn. But y'all had a five piece. Y'all had a five piece. That's what's up. Let me get this out the way. Oh, they gonna get you a bottle of that boy. You coming down there with them. I ain't never seen them, uh, no, I ain't never seen somebody with little big ears. Queen, Kwame, Kwame, you got little big ears, man. You really got these little elf ears. They ain't even, they, you got micro mini big ears. I ain't, and them big pointy. And I got some ears on me too. But geez Louise, we about to see what pop off, boy. No pun intended. I right, probably popped that balloon. All right, let me see. Let me see. Come on. Jeez. All right. Damn. You ain't let my dog get down the steps. Hey. All right. Okay, so who do we have on here today? My name is Kwame Sarfo. All right, Kwame, um, you know, how old are you and what do you do for a living? I'm 31 and I'm an account executive and an entrepreneur. All right now, account executive and an entrepreneur. So he got your little, he got your little corporate job going, but he also got something going on the side. Let's see how you act. Entrepreneur. Okay, account executive and entrepreneur. Okay, so now. Um, okay, so we, we do have one pop here, but before before we go and move on to her, I'd like to know, um, what is your ideal woman, you know, looking like to you? So my ideal woman, um, definitely for the culture, melanated. Okay. Someone who's smart, ambitious, educated, and just really- What's that for the culture? Melanated, love it. Really wants to go after it. Okay. Like, that's it. Okay. Simple. All right, I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. So um, we have one one balloon that popped. Let's go ahead and make our way to her. When people pop their balloon like this, like her, she keep pop, 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 pop. She quick with it, quick with it, quick with it. I be like, yo, pull up your exes, bro. Let me see what that history looking like. Let me see. Let me see what them what them old boot things look like. Cause you real real choosy out here. Let me see what that old work look like. Let me see what that track record is giving. Cause the people at the crib, the people in Jersey, they know her. You know what I mean? They be like, bruh, bruh. You know how dudes be like, oh, you know, sis, such and such. She messed with Butch Gun. You know how that be. I want to see the track record. And I love doing these too because the people from y'all city be calling people out. They be like, I, yo, that's such and such. She got two kids and she got this, that, but I be like, damn. They should have asked about that on the show. <laughs> and let's see <laughs> why she popped. All right, so can you please introduce yourself and why you popped your balloon, please? Lexi Love back again. I just, he seems like a great guy. 
Mm-hmm. I don't have, I don't have a, he's, yeah, you seem nice. Like, I don't know the music. I was liking the music. Let me see. I don't know. I might be second. I don't know. Is it too late? Oh, she might want to have the balloon. Ooh. Ha, 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 ha. Ain't nobody laughing with you, man. You think this shit again? It's the final round. It's three of y'all left. Four people found love. And you key Ken with a zipper coat, dress, hoodie. Oh, yeah, up close, I'm like, okay. <laughs> but from far, I was like, Ugh. okay. I mean, I mean, you. Sometimes things look. Nah, nah, that's the wrong saying. I was gonna say sometimes things look good from far, but when they get close, they look far from good. But it's it's flipped in this scenario. You, you also have a choice to for redemption, so okay, give me another you can go ahead and get all a right, Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'm loving it. Shit. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It might no, have been. No, let me see. The gla- Did you take them off already no, when you came up to me? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. It was just from far. I couldn't Look at really. My dog. Oh, so he, got, he, got, he, got, he got some personality. Oh, he funny see with him. it. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 So we have all balloons on. Okay. okay. All balloons okay, okay, on for okay. Kwame. All right. So, um, you, okay. So let's go ahead and figure out. Let's learn some more. Y'all guess right now in the comment section. If it's your first time watching this, I want you to guess in the comment section. He's gonna pick corporate number one, number two, or number Pull three. Up Num- on number three me. is green. My bad about that. Pull up um, on me. Which person do y'all think he's going to pick right now? Number one would be brown. Number two would be white. Number three would be green. Comment right now. I think, even though he said the melanated comment, I think he's gonna pick. I think he gonna go with number. I don't know. He might go with number three because he like him a little thicker. But I think he gonna go with number one. I think he gonna go with number one. That's what I think. From these ladies, okay. all right. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, um, can you please introduce yourself, your name, and what do you do for a living? Absolutely. My name is Shivani, and I work in human resources. So that's my nine to five. And then I did mention previously that I do bottle girling here and there. This is rough. Oh, I forgot she said that BS about bottle girling. Counting me, you need a second income. You, know? you in these, you in these streets too, just like they in the streets for real. You know, and I'm single, no kids, so I'd rather make money. Okay, okay. So she promoting single. She promotes. She seen interested. Y'all already know I'm out. Hey, it's a no go for them bottle girls, but to each his own. And have you know a secure income in both ways? Yes. All right. You have any any questions for her? Any questions? Um, what is something that you're passionate about? Mm. Um, I'm definitely, that's a great question, by the way. Um, when people say it's a great question, I already know that he asked the question. I asked the question. You buying time. Spit that answer out. I'm definitely passionate about just being able to have a happy, you blowing me. happy life. And just. That shit basic. Hey, what you passionate about? Being able to have a happy life. Come on, fam. What you passionate about, man? What you, what what lights a fire under your ass? What do you what excites you? What mo, what makes you like? What do you do that you wouldn't have a problem doing for free? What are you passionate about? I'm definitely that's a great question by the way. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely passionate about just being able to have a happy life and just being able to provide my future children mm-hmm. the stable environment they need not only from their like their mother but their father's side too mm-hmm. um and i'm definitely passionate about being able to help like people in underdeveloped countries so like i'm indian so on my birthday everyone in my family we donate money every year on my birthday or anybody's birthday in a school like a local village because my dad comes from a really poor town mm-hmm. and you know he came from nothing to something and that's something i really appreciate so that's one thing i'd love to do with my future husband or my future man Good job, go guys. to these places speak to these children Philanthropic. see how they live and maybe teach like show people to appreciate Philanthropic. what they have all right, I love it. All right, let's let's go ahead and move on to our next lady. All right, can you please introduce yourself, who you are, and um, what do you do for a living? Hi, my name is Ify, I'm 26, and uh, I'm a teacher. Okay. Yeah, educate the youth. And then, like Shivani said, like I got a second job too. I <laughs> this economy is rough, okay. <laughs> but I'm also a server as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all in All right, you have any questions for her? So I have to do it. You know I'm gonna do it. You know I'm gonna do it. So. What country makes your favorite jollof? Oh, it's oh. not a true question. It ain't a true question. 
Nigerian. Okay, come on. Like, okay. Okay. She's okay. Like, come on. Like, I make the best jollof. Like, ask my little brother. Oh, he said shit. I made it better, better than mama. Okay. Oh, come on. Shit. That's a big thing. My mom is a good cook. Oh. I'll bring. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. So, so I'm assuming you're from Nigeria. Sorry, yes, I am Nigerian. Okay, right. She's okay. Nigerian. Okay, and, and where are you from? I'm from Ghana, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, we have Ghanaian. You know, Ghana, Niger, Niger you know. A little something, okay. something there, a little something. Okay. 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 okay, okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, any, any other questions that you have for her? Uh, hmm. Who's your favorite Afrobeats artist? Ooh, uh, right now it's Burna. I'm sorry, like he's really good at that last nope. album. Okay. I wanted to go to his concert, but it just doesn't fall. Like it's a Thursday, you know. I seen Burna Afro Nation, <laughs> so I can't really go to his concert. I, 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 I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to our last lady here. All right, so uh, again, back. can you introduce yourself, your name, and what do you do for a living? I'm Lexi Love. I'm an accountant. I'm also an influencer, so I do like you know, little TikTok and Instagram and things like that, things of that sort. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions for uh, her? Tommy? Questions, questions. I feel bad because it's like we got two melanated men right in front of her, like pressing up on her. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Questions, questions, questions. What's one thing that you're passionate about, also? I'm passionate about my family. I'm passionate about God, spirituality, mm. helping the youth, um, just doing better than I was last year. No matter where I'm at, as long as I was doing better than I was yesterday, as long as I'm I learning like something that. I like new that. every day, like I'm just the type that I just go on my phone and Google anything before the bed. How long? How tall was Jesus? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I will Google it just to learn it. So that's what I'm passionate about: just learning life, I just gave it a mic. being here. I'm just a passionate person. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, all right. Do you have any questions for him? Oh uh, yeah. Do you have any kids? I do. How many kids do you have? Just one. How old is your kid? Just turned three. I got a three o. Hey. If the kid under five, the baby mama's still alive. <laughs> if, oh, if the my God. Look at that big face. He's like, shit, I was almost out of here. You can't have a kid? Yo, y'all, well, shorty 26, I think. You good. I think you was like, I forgot. I don't know. She ain't never said age, so she probably, I think she probably around 30. But that's about... Kids off limits. Hmm. Hmm. Not too much of a personality. Not too little of a personality. Not too short. Corporate job. No kids. Live by your, they're your own place. And y'all hovering around dating 30-year-old, 35-year-old men. Mm. They're out there. Just not a lot. You guys, you stick to your guns. You keep on trying. You keep on shooting. If the kid, if the kid was five and older than you, but three is early, so I feel like you might have some ties with your baby mama. You should have yes, asked that. Yeah, the kid is three. He just had that baby. You was that close. I was going to walk away with you. I know. Kids are a blessing. But three is too young. I feel like you still may be dealing with your child's mom. She's probably still healing at the same time. Even if you don't want her, it's complicated. So three is pretty young. It's pandem pandemic baby. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay. Never mind. All right, all right, okay, let's go ahead and move back. Let's move back. Let's move back. All right, okay. Damn, shit was going smooth. Um, okay, so we, we had some pops yeah, here as well. We pops, now, I would love to figure out why they popped their balloons as well. Fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Um, sadly, it's great that you have a, a child. I'm happy for you. I bet you love that, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, I want it to be a brand new experience for me and my man. All you right. know, that's a beautiful experience to be able right to have and a connection to have with somebody. She got every right to feel that way. 
And I'm not going. And I, I, ladies, y'all feel that way. Stick to your guns. If you want your first child to be the man's first child, stick to it. But y'all gotta go ahead and get to choosing now. When y'all get to start dating around 30, 35, 40, it don't really be too much of that left. And the men that are 30, 35, 35, around that age and successful with no children, they're normally not dating women around 30. They normally they 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 normally dipping around the 24, 25 range, probably around uh this young lady's range right here. So I don't know if that's something to think about. I don't know if I put that together correctly. Uh, if I didn't, y'all go ahead and comment below. I'll break it down a little bit more. Once you get, to, when, once you have them successful men that are 35, 37, 40 years old and they don't have kids, they normally dating a lot younger. And some of them don't even want kids or even want marriage if they've never been married. Because they've they seen the homies go through marriage and, and take L's in divorce courts and, and see what other people are dealing with and seen a beautiful wedding. But a lot of people don't realize most of the work all, 99% of the work happens after the wedding. The wedding is a beautiful ceremony. The wedding is a fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollar four, six hour party for everybody to come eat, drink, and party and then go their separate ways. But the real work happens after the wedding. And and fifty percent of them fail and eighty percent of them are the divorce is filed by the women. So and then divorce court, we know dudes is taking L's, fam. Y'all, we are losing in divorce court. So it's, I don't, I don't, I'm not in the betting, but if you successful and you old and you got your money together, even if you got a, uh, you, you gambling with marriage, it's sad to say. And even if you get a prenup lined up, you're going to deal with her saying, why you want a prenup? You think we're not going to fail to the, and, and then she gets signed a prenup two days, two weeks before the wedding. And then y'all get a divorce. She said, I signed it under the duress. I was stressed. He forced me to. And then that shit would get annulled and thrown out. And you still be asked out. I didn't heard some crazy stories from the homies and from people at the barbershop or even at the church. And you never know who you dating until y'all break up or y'all get divorced. That's when that real them come out and they start listening to their hating ass family members and they 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 going below the belt. I'm done. Buddy, and when I do have that connection, I want it to be mutual and first for both of us. Yeah. Respect that. Respect that. Yeah. Respect that. yeah. That's how All she right. feel. Two twenty six feel that way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Same. Yeah, it's just the same situation. It it's really important for me for like my partner and I to have our children together. Yeah. Men men don't never say that though. You know what I'm saying? I know guys that have date dated women and I know guys that have to have no kids and date and have dated women and been in relationships with women that have a child or, or kids or even when looking like you know what I'm saying they never say oh no I don't want to date her because they, they might say I don't want to date no woman that got kids but they don't never emphasize like I don't want a woman with kids because I want her first child to be my first child too well I don't know why men don't really never openly say that and y'all can even on shows like this you never heard a guy say that I don't know why they uh we don't just think that way either hmm. so yeah i mean it's great that you are a father and i'm sure you are an amazing dad but i i it's just yeah, yeah. No. as a kid I'm, as a kid as, as a as a father like even him saying them saying that that wouldn't bother me i wouldn't even be i'm like all right fuck it i don't give a shit like you know what i'm saying at the same at, at, let's be real <laughs> you got the ladies you got your child fellas you got a child you're three-year-old these are strangers your three-year-old means the world to you, like way more than a show or a dating experience or whatever. Like you looking at your three, your three-year-old is the golden child. Who gives a shit? Like you know what I'm saying? Like oh no, I don't want a guy that has a kid. <laughs> I was, bye. Don't care. <laughs> See you later. Like you know what I'm saying? Peace out. Good luck. Say less. Like that's not like a a shot. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You look at your child, like, you know what I mean? That's the joy right there. You y'all think y'all have some joy? Y'all think y'all happy? Y'all think that your your your, the, your dream car will make you happy or your dream home will make you happy? Man, that child will make you happy. That's why I would never understand a deadbeat ass daddy or a father that's not there for his kids or not taking care of his child, not in his child life. I don't understand how you can have some shit like that in you. 
just to not take care of your seed or not to be there or not to hug them, tell them it's going to be okay, kiss the boo-boo, rub them, they get scared at night, lay with them in the dark. I don't know how y'all missing out on shit like that. I don't know how any man or woman is missing out on that. And, and you know, he been cool, but I'm like, but y'all ain't about to make me feel feel bad. This has been my best gift since I've been on the planet, bitch. Fuck it, I will boy with him anyway. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's, let's, okay, let's get up. Damn, but you want two balloons back? Let's get a balloon. Let's get a balloon. Nah, bro. You, how many redemption shorty gonna get? She already went to the gulag one time, bro. How many gulags she gonna get? Go get your man. All right, all right, okay, all right. Let's let's come here. Let's come here. Let's come here. Yeah, hey, I gotta leave right. with can each you, other. Can you can you come here to the to the left? Oh, that's up there, mean green. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So so we have potential a potential match here. Um, now I, I'd love to know, right? Because I know there was a. a, a, a <laughs> Why well, you kept popping your balloon? But you pop your balloon more than anybody on the show. Y'all only had four rounds. You pop your balloon eighteen times. They had five rounds. Change your mind. I love to know why. Why did you, you know, change your mind and picking up your balloon? I, I would be scared because she she don't really know what she want. And decisive. Because I feel like that's always my deal breaker. So maybe for twenty twenty four, I could try something different and give it a chance. And then if it doesn't work, then I'll say no. Good answer. I like it. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Anything you want to no, say? No, I love that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Man, I ain't thanking nobody for accepting me and my son, bitch. But I, I, I would have popped. Nah, hell nah. Nah, you try, try popping your shit, man. Go ahead on. Go back in line. Go back to the lineup. Back to the Squid Games. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now, I believe that, I believe, I believe we have a, a match here. We have a match here. Okay, this is our fifth match. All right, so oh. Kwame could go ahead and take your queen uh, to the homeland, all right? <laughs> all right, let's make some noise for them. Let's make some noise for them. Let's make some noise for them. Okay. There's only two people left. They can't make but so much noise. All right, all right. So this is the end of our show. I appreciate y'all rocking with me for another video. Leave our comments below. Be respectful down there. I'd love to hear what y'all think about the whole video, the whole cast, the whole lineup. Smash the like button, subscribe. That's already. Uh, shout out to uh, whoever sent me this on Instagram. Slide, follow me on Twitter, guys. That'd be the easiest way to, to communicate, chop it up. I reply back damn near instantly on Twitter. I love Twitter. A lot of my friends and people that really don't rock with Twitter, how come you on Twitter so much? Just say you can't read. Just say you got reading reading issues. You know what I'm saying? Just say you got, you're on a third grade reading level. You know what I'm saying? I love Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at T Pendell. All right. I'm on there. Shoot me the videos, anything y'all want me to react to on there. Check out the latest podcast, Real Talk, Pill Talk podcast on my main channel, episode 49 out right now, about an hour and 20 minutes. It gets juicy. It's four of us on this, on this one, including myself. And check out the uh my latest web series. If you're into like drama, suspense, um, sex, all that great stuff, um, mystery, check out the Barry Web series. It's six episodes. I'm going to have the playlist up coming up. It probably should be on the screen right now. All right? I'm out of here. Done talking y'all ear off. Until next time.